What's up, YouTube family? Um, yeah, I'd like to start off by saying pray, read your Bible. Um, if you can't worship, that's a great way. You know, you want that connection, you want to find out you're chosen, you got to always stay prayed up, read your Bible, repent, you know. So, that was basically my messages. And um, I just want to tell you about this one time. Um, God, let me see what, what hell is like. He showed me hell is real. And it was through a dream. So I'm going um, to just, yeah, I'm going to just talk to you and tell you about this one time I had this dream. Um, yeah, I had a buddy, man. His name is Tommy, man. He passed. So he passed probably in about 2013. I had this dream in probably about 2014, 2014, uh, yeah, man, and, uh, yeah, okay, now by this time, I'm in the mission, I'm, um, I'm separated, uh, yeah, I was in the mission, LA mission, and it's a Christian program that they have in there, so it was very helpful to me on my journey, you know what I mean, and, um, yeah, um, I go <laughs> yeah, in this dream, um, I, I can remember I'm walking down the street. By this time, I have this dream. Tommy already had passed away. So it felt like this was real. I was in my old neighborhood, seemed like. And I'm walking down the street, and he come out of the backyard of, uh, like, a walk uh, back. Like, yeah, he's coming out of the, the side of a, a building, like apartment building, coming out the walkway, the driveway. And we kind of meet at the same place, like, and I'm like, oh, sh Tommy, you know, because I mean, it's so real. I'm like, Tommy, and he like, this place is not what it seems, you know. He said at least twice to me, like, this place is not what it seems. So I'm like, what is he talking about? And next thing I know, the sky is cloudy and it's already cloudy, but it's just getting darker. And a tornado had happened, but the tornado was going up, like the clouds turned into a tornado. So the tornado will suck you into the clouds. You can see it like, you know what I mean? So it it, it, it kind of sucked him from his feet. And he's like getting sucked up and he just grabbed me from my feet. And and, it, and he's pulling, now he's put now we both being pulled into the sky. That's what is it was happening. So now it seems like I have a out of, out of body experience because I'm actually seeing myself in the bed. I'm seeing myself in the bed, I'm seeing half of my feet body is off the bed like being dragged into the ground or on the floor and I see my hand is on the top of the rails of the bed because the bed had like rails right here rails right here and rails on the other side but once I exit the bed so I'm holding on to that rail and it's like I could see that part you know what I mean like I'm I don't I guess I'm having an out of body experience like moment or something a spiritual moment so He's pulling me, you know what I mean? And mind you, like I said, my bed, I'm, I see that part of me hanging off the bed, then I like go back into my body. And when I go back into my body, I could see, I could see like me holding the rail, like, and then when I look down, I see him pulling me and I'm like being pulled in the toilet, but I can see half my body in the bed and the rest is off the bed. That's the part that's off the bed. It looked like I'm in another dimension or something being pulled in by him. And I'm like, what the hell? And I'm, <clears throat> so I'm really holding on for dear life. That's what it seemed like right there. And I can hear someone's coming. Like, when I can't see them, but I can hear the footstep. Boo, boo, boo. And I hear the, like, growling or some type of demonic, like, something presence is coming. And I never get to see it, what it was once it came, but I could feel it because it grabbed my hands. Like, it just grabbed my hands and my instantly when it touched me, my whole body like my nerves was on fire like an internal burning sixation that sh it hurts so bad and i'm in my dream and i feel this i mean my nerves was burning it was like throbbing and burning on the inside of my body like my nerves it was wild so that lets me know internal fire you get what i'm saying and i start praying like when it touched my hand i felt the burning i was just like oh 
um, I'm in my sleep. I'm still in my sleep mode or whatever. And I'm like, now we let me down this sleep. I pray the Lord. Oh, now we let me down this. And I was getting louder and louder. And you know what I mean? Nobody woke me up, but I was actually screaming that out in my dream, like screaming it. Like people around me was, you know, hearing it. And I was just like, cause I was living in a mission. So people was bunkies and, and I woke up like, I was, I was scared. Like, like I, I was afraid I was stuck in that, stuck there. Like, you know what I mean? And I thank God for bringing me out because it felt like I could have been stuck there like that's how real it, it it was to me and i would woke up like feeling like doom, doom, in my in my veins and my nerves like you know and tightness and throbbingness like oh my god that was real it so it shows me hell is a, a is a place in between death and the dream world you know you could be stuck in that place internally being tormented, internal fire by the devil. Like, it's it's a, a dimension or whatever you want to call it that you could be in if he does not repent and change your ways. You know, I used to try to teach my friend about God, like when we was younger growing up, but he just, he was always, he would tell me he didn't believe in him. Oh, why would all this happen? And like, like when we was young growing up, man, it, and it's wild to be like, I did, that's when I wasn't knowing what was going on with me, but I always would tell him like, you know, cause that was my partner, you know what I mean? But everybody had a different views on how they do things. You know, you're gonna do it morally, you're gonna do it standing up, you're gonna do it with some respect, or you're gonna do it with your things without any morals, without any consequences, living that way. So, in them times, I would think like, man, my friend gonna be in hell. Like I had a vision when I was a kid, cause I told him he, he you know what I mean? And he, then he eventually got 666 tatted on him. And then I had really told him like, you know what I mean? And the last time I seen him was like 2007, 2008. And his passing was like 2013 on to 2014 somewhere. Be in, a, in late, late 2013 and I had my dream 2014 in between something like that 15 and it was so real because even when i seen him i thought it was real like oh shit you were like you're like oh, you can be like and that's how real this place is and he said it to me this place is not what it seems so he could be talking about this place or this place in that dream so i'm starting to, trying to interpret that and i'd be like i want to get things like this off my chest you know what i mean to let people know it's a real place you could, you could, you could be in, you could live in, you know what I mean? It's like another dimension or spiritual spot where your soul will be trapped in there. And that eternal fire within your body. Oh, that is, that is, that's scary to me. That's scary to me. So I'm just here to be like, like repent, baby, please. You know what I mean? Repent. Um, yeah, yeah. I just, you know, I hope it was a good one. Repent. This is Mr. Willis. Yes, and you have been awoken.